super fuel will blow us sky high. We gotta hunt cover. Cover coming up. Hey everybody, Ringing Worm here again with another Transformers review slash why I love Transformers so much. Um, this is the second video I've done with this backdrop. I like the first one that I did with Ratchet and I'm going to keep doing that at least until I get sick of it or until I get to a character that just won't fit in the camera because I have a couple of those characters like Ultra Magnus and uh, Jet or Skyfire. And I'm still going to use the background but... Uh, you'll see how much larger in scale these particular figures are. So today we're going to do smoke screen. Now this is the P19 smoke screen. Now if you look at this, this is actually a, a, a reproduction. So somebody basically stole this mold, mold and they put this together. But I've looked at the actual smoke screen and it looks just like the actual one from... Uh, from Takara Tomy. And the reason why I'm showing this because I did a video earlier on there are knockoffs and that type of stuff. No, so I bought this at Comic-Con. I bought it. It was actually a lot cheaper than the regular one considerably. The quality, however, is just as good as my other Masterpiece Transformers. The instructions were exactly the same type lay layout. But this is not an authorized figure. This is a, a, a third party kind of uh, somebody putting it together and repackaging it and making it look like a masterpiece transformer. You have to decide whether or not you want to do that. Some people are really hell bent on only buying licensed material and authorized material because obviously there's some kind of level of. I don't know if piracy is the right word. I don't know what this company does to give to the other charities. But there's other people like me. Like if I'm buying it from a Comic Con or a dealer there or whatever, you know, it, it didn't it doesn't bother me that much. I again I don't know anything about this particular company, but anyway, this is a smoke screen now. There he does come with a couple things, not a lot, but he comes with his two shoulder um cannons and he comes with his uh, weapon and he's got a pretty big weapon for such a a small bot so I'm going to show you really quick with next to Ironhide and you can kind of see him scaled next to to that particular figure so and then I'll show you next to Bumblebee so you kind of get a different idea of how big Bumblebee is next to him and, and the reason why I'm showing this is I just, I feel like, again, scale has a lot to do with why I buy these particular figures. And I feel like if you were driving down the road and you pulled up next to a bug, the scale would be pretty close uh, with these figures. So, Prowl, or excuse me, um, Smokescreen here is a Nissan uh, Fair Lady 280ZT. Now, there are several other characters with the same design there is silver streak blue streak there's prowl and i may be missing a couple in there but they all share the exact same transformations the only thing that d differs on them is their paint schemes uh with smokescreen here instead of having his his tires behind his shoulders like in the cartoon they're just on the opposite side and you can't see that great on the box Let's see if i can get it a little bit closer so you can see it uh but that he, he's got his wheels on the top and I feel like that's pretty accurate to to the cartoon so I bought smokescreen again for a couple reasons one his price but I always did like smokescreen in the cartoon for some reason and he doesn't actually show up I think until the second season at least in in a lot of detail but uh, and there's some features in here that I'm not necessarily going to show you like his this little hood top part right here if you break this down in the middle this flips up and you can actually have his gun um, on the top or if you do his transformation just a little bit different he's got these little two blue things you can't see but you'll see here in a second these actually come out and you can put his cannons uh, there's a little latch right here and right here And he can actually drive down the road with these cannons 
on his hood. So that that's an option if you wanted to do something like that. I, I don't think I'm ever going to do that, but it's an option if you, if if you wanted to do it. I mean, it's not there's however you want to transform. I mean, like I I bought this. You know, there's cheaper versions. This cost me about 50 bucks grand total with shipping and everything. This Teletran one setup. But you can find cheaper ones online. It just from repo labels or or, or whatever. Uh, some of these companies. I mean, th there's tons of places to get them. I bought this one. I like the look of it, and that, that's why I ended up getting it. But anyway, uh, smokescreen here. He's not hard to transform, but he. There are so many moving pieces in this. He can he can be difficult to transform from a uh, untabbing thing section. So. I'll just kind of go through it. So if you go up underneath, you can see his head underneath there. You can see his tailpipes right here that kind of form his feet. He's got um, he's got a couple other things that uh, make him a little bit more difficult. But once you get the hang of it, he, he's really not too complicated. Sometimes the things just don't fit together the way you want them to do, and, and they become difficult to transform to. So as you can see, I just kind of pulled away his his car from his back you can see that little tab that I was telling you about right there um, I'll show you that in a little bit more detail now his knees here just kind of accordion in there now if you're going to transform him you've got to do a couple things so you can kind of see that flips up whatever is you just want to kind of separate his his back here Hang on a second a little light here a little bit so you just want to kind of separate that kind of get his his uh, his uh, doors here, God, I can't talk, uh, unattached from things. Now this is the easiest part of the transformation. Um, the, the hardest part is his legs right here because the, it, you, you can't really see it really great, but this whole section right here just kind of moves away from this part right here. You can see the line right there. And it kind of moves away, and it's really more difficult than I think it should be to to separate it from that. But this this ends up becoming his legs. This becomes his shin, and etc. And then um, the hood becomes his chest, and all that good stuff. So anyway, th th this part folds down, all that type of stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of flip these up like so. I'm going to flip the, these up too because it makes it a little bit easier to get a hold of things. And then I'm going to grab a hold right here with my fingernail. And I'm going to grab right there. And you can see I'm kind of, you can see it separating now right there. Now th this gets stuck right here on both sides really tight. And you just, but it comes out. And then this just kind of comes down and forms this foot like so. So this goes like this. So this is that one piece I just showed you. It just goes back like that, and then there you have it, his foot. Now, his window right here folds down and just kind of tabs behind that like so. Pretty pretty easy so far as far as transformations go. Now, like I said, this is kind of on a little accordion kind of thing, so you just pull that up. And then this literally is the hardest part of the transformation. Um, at least I find it the, to be the hardest. And again, you just kind of grab. If you, you have fingernails, which I do not, but if you have fingernails, if you can get it wedged in there, you just want to pull those pieces apart. Like so. And I've watched some other review videos. I'm telling you, this is exactly like the, the masterpiece uh, figure would transform. There is no difference. So even though this is not a licensed figure, it's pretty much the same figure. There. I don't see any difference in quality except for, and I'll, and I'll show you a little bit in the paint area. So, so there you have it. He's got his his legs, and he's standing up, and you're done. No, I'm just joking. So he, he's pretty easy. These uh, basically doors kind of open up like so. Not hard. You got to spin his. Eventually, you're gonna have to spin his waist around but you can't do that just yet because you got to do some other things now there are a couple little notches in there where his arms are pegged into but they come out pretty easily and as you can see they just fold down like so pretty easy now uh, his hood just pops up like so pretty easy and his head as you can see just kind of pops up like so
Now his arms obviously are going to go into a different direction and I'll show you that here in just a second. But this is basically going to um, pop up right here. These things need to come up to his shoulders like so, these little blue things. Because this is what his cannons are going to peg into basically. So I have that up. This folds down, up and down, so you can see his hood, his hood piece just goes up like that. And then this just kind of comes up, and it's, it sits there pretty snug. Now, that's a pretty seamless back, if you ask me. Now, here's what's really cool. This moves up, just like in the cartoon, so it's got kind of a, a wing flare to it, which I really like. And this, you're just going to move this back into place like so. And his shoulders are pretty easy. You just need to move them to where they're sitting up top like that and then his arms roll around like so. So these are gonna sit just like that. That's just, that's how they're supposed to sit. Um, that's how they sit in the cartoon. I looked and I'm pretty sure that that's accurate. Now, you've got him transformed, but there's a problem. You still gotta do one more thing, which is you gotta twist his waist around like so, and there you have it. There is smoke screen. Now, uh, these, you got, you just got to watch how you're doing it because it's, it's kind of weird. I, I think that, and this again is a, the same thing. If you can see this little cutout notch here, you'd think that that would go into the inside because this is, you know, streamlined, but it doesn't. So if you see that little notch, it actually goes in on the other side. And then, it, and then it sits just literally like that. So where's the other one? There it is. Okay, so again, this little lip right here goes on the back of his hood, essentially. And it just, ta it just pushes right into place very easily. And then you just push that forward, and then it locks into place pretty good. I mean, it, they do move up a little bit, but not a lot. And then his hand, going back to the Ironhide debacle in the last video, you can see his hand. And again, he's got this little notch right here. So let's go to his gun. Now you can see his gun, and you can see those two little notches. Now when you're putting his gun in his hand, you just kind of twist it a little bit, and then it wedges in there um, kind of at an, a an angle. He wants to pop out right now. And then you close his hand around his weapon, and it looks like he's got his finger on the trigger and everything else, which I really like because it kind of gives it that real feel. I like the, the fact that their hands actually open up. Now, I told you this is a third party, and I'm going to show you some of the things that I don't like. So I don't know if you can see this on camera, but if you get really close, some of his paint is not as clean as an actual licensed figure. And that's something that you have to decide. If you look at his hood right here, you can see the paint drip right there from when they painted him. Now, you have to decide if that's something that you can live with or something you can't live with. It doesn't bother me a whole lot. So... I'm good to go. You might not be. And that's something that I can't, you know, I can't fix for you. That's, it, it is what it is. Again, this is not a licensed figure overall. So it, it just comes down to, are you going to be able to live with that? Now, you look at them. I, I'm going to have most of my Transformers always in a transforming, or excuse me, in robot mode. I just, I like that better. But there he is. That is 100% smokescreen. Uh, not the best face in the world, but again, I didn't pay a lot for him because he, because he's not licensed. So there's things that I'm, I'm willing to tolerate and don't have a problem with whatsoever. So anyway, guys, this is a lot shorter video than the last one. I hope you enjoyed it. It was very brief as far as the character itself, but this is the CP... Uh, 19 smoke screen from Takasa Tony, which is just a basically a pirate copy of the uh, of the uh, masterpiece line from Takara Tomi. So anyway, guys, I picked this up from Salt Lake Comic Con. I'm pretty happy with having it in my collection. Um, I don't know. So some people might be offended the fact that it's a, kind of a knockoff. That's entirely up to you. It, it, it's definitely not for everyone. Um, I hope you like this video. I hope you like the background and the effects I'm putting in the video. If you do like it, please like and share this video. Hit that little bell button down at the bottom and subscribe to my channel. And you'll keep getting all these updated videos. 
Uh, hopefully within the next two to three weeks I'll be getting a new hot toy. We'll be reviewing that. But as of right now I'm just reviewing the Transformers because I've got a whole bunch of them from Comic Con and that's what I'm focused on right now. So you guys have a wonderful day and thanks for tuning in again to Ringing Worm, Ringing Worm Reviews. It's kind of a mouthful.